taking a look at question number 10 from your addition and subtraction worksheet. <clears throat> I'm going to rewrite this down below so we have a little bit more room. We have 12 equals b plus 3 fourths. Okay, um, we are solving for 12, or I mean for b, sorry, I'm not really <coughs> functioning today. Okay, we are solving for b. We want to get b by itself. Well, right now, um, plus 3 fourths is attached to it. Uh, so we're going to draw our line down the center. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. I'm going to start off um, by trying to get b by itself by subtracting 3 fourths. If I have a positive 3 fourths and I subtract 3 fourths, I'm left with 0. Uh, if we subtract 3 fourths from one side, though, we have to subtract 3 fourths from the other side. And this is where we run into some problems. Um, to subtract 3 fourths, we have to change 12. Uh, we want to make 12 have a denominator of 4. Uh, so to do that, um, we're going to, let's go over here so you guys can be reminded of, of how to change a fraction. Um, it's really 12 over 1, okay, and we want it to have a common denominator with 3 over 4. So we're going to multiply the bottom by 4, which means we also have to multiply the top by 4. So we now have 48 over 4. Okay, so let's change that 12 real quick into 48 over 4. Okay. <clears throat> Now let's continue. So when we subtract 3 fourths over from the right, we're left with just b. Okay. From the left, we're going to do 48 minus 3, which is 45 on top. And this is subtracting, so our, four, our denominator stays the same. So b is equal to 45 fourths, um, which if we do some long division real quick to see how many times Four goes into 45, we end up with oops, 11 oh, that's a one down there, sorry guys, 11 and 1 fourth as our answer. So let's rewrite this over to the side, um, 11 and 1 fourth equals b. Now we need to double check our work. We're going to plug that back into the original problem to make sure that works. Okay. 12 equals 11 and a quarter plus 3 quarters. Well, a quarter plus 3 quarters is 1 plus the 11 is 12, so 12 equals 12 give ourselves a check mark, it balances. Uh, so for question uh, number 10, we have 11 and a quarter is your answer for B. If you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.